I had a good conversation with Mr. Wood on Friday and the mayor and Mr. Carl Serdin. Uh, it seems that some people in our community are concerned about officers wearing different types of uniforms. Uh, l let me just try to set the record straight so everyone knows. The uniform that you see our police officers wearing today are what we call a Class A uniform, which consists of a dress shirt with dark blue pants and a blue stripe down the side. This is a uniform that they wear every day in their duties. Um, we also have a Class B uniform, which is used when officers are on special details, if we go to the range, if we're called in for a special event, if we're called in during the night, instead of having to put on that class, we throw that uniform on and, and we're ready to go. Uh, this is a what we call BDU outfit, and it's a, a, dark, a, a blue shirt with dark pants that are bloused with what they call combat boots and a baseball cap. Uh, the other uniform that was asked about is a, a yellow shirt. This yellow shirt is worn by just the bicycle patrol. If the officer's on a bicycle patrol and inclement weather comes along, he does go to the car. So we don't tell him to change his uniform, so he stays in that uniform. That's why you might see that officer answering calls, you know, with that outfit on. Uh, then we have our emergency response team, which dresses in all camouflaged outfits for obvious reasons. Uh, this is the team that's ready to go. We've talked about it before, and uh, that's how it goes. And just to add the note, uh, I believe I will be integrating a type of different uniform uh, for myself, which will consist of Mayor, I about a staff shirt and maybe some different type of clothing so that people will be able to recognize their police chief when they see him on the street. Uh, hopefully after 35 years of service, people recognize me, but I know we have a lot of new uh, residents and uh, like myself and Mr. Carl Sir to discuss today, we are a quasi-military organization and neatness is of most importance and recognition. We, we want to have the perception, Chief that this is the police chief of the town of Hamilton wearing his uniform, doing police business during police hours. And that's the, that's the appearance that I, as the commissioner of police, and I, I don't know if the rest of the council are going to go on, but I, that's what I want done. And I think it's good for you, and it's good for the morale of the police department, it's good for the morale of the town to have you in uniform look out there and saying, hey, that's our police chief, and he's on duty. He's doing police business. I, I would not have a problem with that, and, and I respect your opinion, believe me, of, of all of you. Uh, what I do have to say is this, that uh, I've been here 35 years, mm -hmm. and uh, as far as gaining the respect of the men and whatever and the community, uh, I started here, and I can tell you this, I worked with that dog from 1977 to 1995 of night work. Uh, I had a family, and I didn't get to attend a lot of holidays and a lot of birthdays and anniversaries and weddings and all this. And as far as my uh, job today, I believe within my heart that I do the best job that anyone in this position has ever done. I am an active chief. I participate. I have never asked a man in my department for the last six years to do anything that I never done or would not do or would not go out and do. Uh, I can tell you from 1972 till 1998, around there, any raid of any type in this community, the first guy through the door was Frank Injury. Okay? Uh, maybe that's not the smartest thing in the world, but uh, that's what I've done, and I believe I've dedicated a lot of time on duty and off duty to the people of this community. But if you believe that I need a more recognized, um, Willing to do it and wear it proudly. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Further, uh, Councilman Kalsar, uh, further on your report? Yeah, we have the. Um